goodness. Is there anything sadder than a headless chicken? Poor thing. Rest in peace, chicken. Knacks first over here on the shelf. This kind of caught my eye. It is the Ten Commandments and it's really heavy duty hook thing here. Um, I, it's 20 bucks though. I mean, totally worth it, I'm sure. In fact, I may have to look up 1998 AOG. I'm gonna actually look that one up because it's pretty nice quality. Uh, Thing there, so we'll, we'll we'll peek at that in a minute. Spotted a baggie here that's got some storytellers in, but look, they they are being made in China now. So that's kind of a bummer. Thank you. Koala bear, he's seven ninety nine. Now that's pretty. And quails kind of just warm the hearts of people. So quails are, oh, and it's only $1.99. Yeah, all right, that's a no brainer. We're getting that. All right, I couldn't find any comps on my phone. Like, I don't have much patience for finding comps on my phone, I gotta tell you. I'll look when I get home. I suspect it's not worth spending 20 bucks on, but I'm gonna learn from it. And I spot this little lady here, and unfortunately, she's got a sizable chip there. Look at the, the painting on her face, though. She's done very nicely, and that's it's one of the things you want to look for. She's got a mark right there that I can't quite make out, but had she not had that chip, I would have picked her up. But the chip, a little too prominent to uh, take a chance on her. These bowls right here I recognize as false graph, and they are portfolio by false graph. Actually, they're pretty nice bowls. If I was in the need for some bowls, I'd probably pick those up. But what I do spot is that. This is treasure craft. It is a Sea World treasure craft souvenir. $4.99. Yuppers, we are going to pick that up. Circling back to this because I happen to look on the back and it's a blue tag, which means it's half price, which means it's only $2.50. And these little plaques, I actually do well selling these down at the booth. So if it doesn't have the, the value to sell it on eBay, I can definitely sell it down at the booth for some good money. 
All right, I have some really loud music right over my head, so we're gonna try to work with it. It's a little interesting. It's an olive dish. You know, I've done quite well with these olive dishes and it's $2.99, so I think I'll pick that up as well. All right, let's see what else we have back here. It's actually not a bad looking little piece. I do see England down in the bottom and it's a dollar ninety nine. Ah, oh, it's got a nice mid-century look to it so I'm gonna pick that up as well. All right, what I was going to go look at was this piece right here. This is goofus glass, kind of. Um, kind of not. <laughs> I don't know. This is in really bad shape. I actually think it was uh, like a reproduction goofus glass where they were flashing on the or staining on the yellow to look like the gold. I don't know, whatever it is, it's a hot mess. So we're definitely not going to get that. So let's see what's up here. That looks like a hobbyist piece actually. It looks like it's made in Italy, but it's probably under the sticker and it's not really worth peeling. He's cute. He's very cute. Lots of those. Okay. Don't think I see anything else we can't live without on that shelf. Oh, wait. What are you? Oh, my goodness. Look at these. It's a bunch of googly eyed rocks for $3.99. But there's something very fun and whimsical about that, so I must have it. I also noticed this kind of interesting plate back here, but that's definitely a hobbyist piece. Yep. That is a child's project, actually. And so we will pass that by. It's a nice deer here, but it is got a break. I just wanted to see, even if I see something that I'm not gonna buy, I still take a look at it so I can tell what it is when I do find one that's not broken. So don't be afraid to look at that stuff, you know? That's how you learn in this business, just check it all out. Gosh, this looks like Fenton, but it is Fenton. But normally they have a birthstone, so I haven't seen just a plain one. But you know what? I'm trying to, there's a little bit of a sharp point there, but it's just his seam. It's $1.49. You know what? I'll pay $1.49 for a piece of Fenton. All right, we are on a roll. Let's see what we got on this shelf. Ooh, I happen to know these are very expensive. Um, I can't remember the lady's name. Hold on. Duh, there's, they got it covered up. All right, you'll see it in the, oh, there it is. It's signed. Rossi for Silvestri. Um, I'll give you the full info of this down in, or down. <laughs> At the end, in the recap that I do, everything that I buy, I research it, I recap it, I show you what I'm gonna be able to sell it for. So be sure you watch all the way through the video so you see that, but we're definitely picking this lady up. Maybe behind her here was this really cute little elephant bank. Look, it's got a cork. Oh, he's really cute. Yes, yes, we have to have him. I did spot these as well. These are um, these alcohol proof trays. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. there's eight of them for five bucks. And um, these are super vintage. Hopefully they're all in good shape. I'm not gonna untape them to find out, but we're gonna take a chance at $5. I think we have completed that shelf. Boy, I love the knickknack section. I just, it's where I find most of what I end up buying when I come to Goodwill, for sure. I'm looking in here, there's a little redware dog in here, and there's a little stone, is that an owl? I think it's a stone owl. I know it's really hard to see through this plastic. So I think for $1.99, we're gonna pick that up for those two pieces that are in there. So spot one of these piggy banks. Now they're fairly common. So the price has to be right to pick him up. Like for $4.99, I probably won't get him. Um, but I'll show you <clears throat> what these sell for. Uh, just so you know that if you pick them up for the right price, you can make some money on them. All right. 
right. Nothing else there. We'll move on to the next, the next shelf. Look at more pine cones. Gotta get Rachel making those pine cones. Things are really torn apart on this shelf. Somebody's been digging through. Goodness. I see, I see something down there I wanna to get to, so I'm gonna move some things around here till I can get down to this tile, which is by Joe Wilson, famous, uh, I think he's up in Alaska, if I'm not mistaken, or Canadian, maybe he's Canadian. $1.49, I'm gonna pick that up. And then I uncovered not one, but two of these vintage glass SeaWorld mugs. And they are, what did I say? $2.99 each. I'm gonna pick those up. Let me just check the other one. Make sure, no chips, no cracks. Yeah, we're good to go on those. All right, what's on the next shelf? Apparently I'm here early enough in the morning that um, they've restocked and things aren't too picked up. You know what, that is really cute. It's a dollar forty-nine. I'm gonna get that to give us a giveaway. Back to it. Um, we've got a pumpkin. It's fairly new. Got some mugs. Not really my thing. Oh, got a little paperweight here for sixty-nine cents with some kitties on it. Can't go wrong with kitties for sixty-nine cents. All right, now we're getting into some candles this is a stain oh look you can see it's really 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 wearing off of there gotta watch out for that those don't last very well and they don't have as much value as the glass that's actually that color glass totally different process of manufacturing okay this is holiday and there is nothing good here all right now on to the christmas goodies and honestly it's about time to really start thinking about the things that you're gonna start getting and stocking up for christmas because believe it or not <laughs> fourth quarter is around the bend i know scary we don't think in terms of december when we're resellers we think in terms of september for when we start loading our stores up to sell Christmas stuff. So be thinking about that. Don't disregard the Christmas stuff. It's uh it's it's a coming. What do we got? Oh we got a zombie safe zone. Oh look at that. Alright, there we go. <laughs> oh let's see. I have picked up a few of these. Um I don't know if I want to pick up any more right now, but I may later, once I figure out what I'm really doing with them. Oh, I'm really trying to get my organizational stuff all taken care of at the house. I'm going to be showing a video of that very, very soon. I finally have some things in place that I want. Now these I love for using underneath stuff down at the booth. I think I've talked before about splashes of red. If you have a space at an antique mall or consignment shop, anytime you can use a splash of red, psychologically, the eye is pulled over to red. So put this underneath some clear glass or you know, whatever you got, some milk glass to really make it pop and you'll get people's attention. All right. Don't see anything there. I'm going a little bit quick today because I do have to get back home as I'm filming this. I'm getting ready to do a live sale, which I do every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So, uh, oh, you know what? I am totally gonna pick this up and send it to my friend Misty of Thrifter Hunter, no, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. She uses this when she's making her packages. So um, that's some really nice ribbon and I'm gonna send that to her. All right, so let's see. Boy, they got a lot of Christmas stuff out now too. 
Lots of Christmas. I think Santa's house. Oh, that's a painting project. All right. Don't see anything that's grabbing my attention. So enough of Christmas. I spotted this sailboat up here. It's metal. It's just a home decor piece. And I probably would pick this up if it wasn't so scratched up. Because again, this is a good item that would sell down at the booth for about 20 bucks, but it's pretty scratched up. So we're going to put it right back where we got it and take a peek at all this clear glass here. And there's nothing special. Gosh, I see something like this and I go, what could I do with these? Cause these are pretty cool, but I have no idea what I could do with these. What ideas would you come up with for just these clear tubes? I'd love to know down in the comments, please. Okay, lots of red glass. This has an interesting look to it. It looks, oh, okay. That's, an, that's an, a transfer look. Look at that. Made to look like something special, but it is not. Lots and lots of stuff out there to fool you. Unfortunately, these days, there's more and more. That's why you have to learn the feel, like just picking this up. that It's cheap glass. You can feel it. Feel it if you get your hands on enough of it. Oh, I like this guy. Again, this would be something that I would sell down at the booth. I wouldn't try to ship this, but it's 13 and I could probably get, you know, 20, 25 for it. So that's more than I want to spend. Somebody will totally pick that up and love it. Let's see, these were $8.99 and they were being sold and they've got them for 99 cents. Huh. I actually really like the look of these. And I think I will put air plants or something in those. And they're only, what did I say? 99 cents? Yeah, 99 cents. So I'm gonna pick those up. So I'm paying a little closer attention now to the metal sections after finding that mechanical um, wine pour in one of my last videos. These have like a name on them. They're kind of interesting. Hmm. But yeah, that wine pour was worth like 250 bucks. So yeah, I'm gonna pay attention to the metals. Like those look very mod to me, don't they? And they are half price so they're two bucks each i think i'm gonna pick those up remember when this was like a thing you uh you bronzed the uh the baby shoes but this actually doesn't appear to be real shoes this is looks like just a replica that doesn't i mean maybe it is maybe that's this is like the newfangled way of doing it but that feels really thin and then there's a place for a picture kind of cute but I just don't think anybody does that anymore, do they? It's so weird to get older and have like these traditions they grew up with just not be a thing anymore. But it's the way it goes. What do we got here? We have Watney's. I don't know of Watney's. It's a little scratched up. Oh look, it's um, printed in England. There's no date on it. It's $2.99. I may have to look that up. I don't know if that's a thing or not. So that one's in the cart because it is worth something. If you're wondering what those boxes are, those are solar flowers like, like that one. Only these are in the box and that's for me, for my backyard. Now we are in the little wood section and I spot a little pull toy bunny. He looks like he might be homemade. But he also looks like he could have a little bit of age on him too. So he's very well made. He's a nice solid piece of wood. And I think I'm gonna pick him up for $3.99. All right, let's look over here. Oh, this is, haha. <laughs> I'm getting this for my inspiration wall because this is absolutely my saying when I fly. I sit there and just chant this to myself. <laughs> Uh, so that's going on my wall. I have a wall in my room. So when I wake up every morning, I have all of my positive 
uh, spirit building messages. It's the first thing that I put in my brain and consume in the morning so that I can start the day right, which is super important for your brain. You want your brain to be focused on positive and uplifting and all of that. Oh, look at all the back scratchers and the... <laughs> I wonder what Rachel could paint on those. That's pretty fun. Everybody needs a good back scratcher, right? Now, let's see. Not a whole lot in the wood section today. Old jewelry box. Spot these. Are these supposed to be like... They are, they're salad and pasta server, Alaska moose, and they're $2. Oh, I, you know what, even if nobody wants to use them for that anymore, there's certainly something you could do with these cute little guys. All right, just um, kind of going through, trying to uh, overcome that loud music that is once again over my head. That's why I talk so much, you guys, if I don't talk then I get in trouble and I can't use the footage. <laughs> so forgive my blabbering, but it's how I can keep showing you all the cool stuff without doing a voiceover. And I know a lot of people say just do a voiceover, but honestly, um, the voiceover work is very, very time consuming. And it's a lot more editing that I simply have not had the time for. So. I do try to get my videos done in one take of clips. <laughs> All right, we are in the glasses now. Seeing what we can find. Something's really gotta like jump out at me for, for me to dig real deep in the glasses. I mean, that's pretty much how fast I go through them. And unless you specialize in glasses, I recommend you don't spend too much time on any one thing. There's always more stuff. You gotta remember that in this business. There is always more stuff and the stuff that's really worth picking up, like the stuff that you really don't wanna miss is gonna jump out at you, you know, like a shoebox greeting <laughs> mug. Ooh, that is really scratched up. And, um, you know what, it's only 35 cents. So because of that, I'm gonna pick it up. I have a little grouping of mugs that I have to work on with the barkeeper's secret on that inside. And um, I can definitely get my 35 cents back out of this one. All right, let's see if there's any more special mugs. Here's another scripture mug made by 3E Trading Company. Oh, it's only 99 cents. Oh, it's cracked, darn. I do pick those up and I do really well with those, but we can't sell a mug with a crack. That's just a no-go. All right, kind of perusing through. Boy, they're making it easy because there's not much on the shelves right now. Must mean they're getting ready to restock with lots of stuff, hopefully. Those are cute. Oh, they're, they're melamine. Plastic. But those are cute. Nothing up there. Oh, I do see a fish. Oh, he's had a repair. That's too bad. He's very pretty. Okay, nothing in the dishes today. All right, we've got more clear glass. This has a neat look to it, doesn't it? Oh, it's very, very lightweight. Unfortunately, it, it just doesn't have a good feel to it at all. And at $4.99, I think we're just gonna pass on that one. I spotted this, a little dessert stand. It's kind of made nice. But again, it's just, just nothing that really is drawing me. They are making announcements. This is a vintage blender glass. Um, people are doing other stuff with this now. 
You know, for $2.50, I'm going to pick this up because people are using these as planters and all kinds of things now. So I'm going to grab that. My goodness, is there anything sadder than a headless chicken? Poor thing. Rest in peace, chicken. Okay, I'm not finding... Oh, wait. You know what? It's such a jinx. Every time I start to say, say that, I find something I want to look at. Paula Dean signature. That's a cute, oh my goodness, it's one-handed thing. It's cute, but um, I thought it was older. I just got a whole bunch of these pans that we're starting to cook with so we can protect our birdies. I'm not sure how much better for the birds they are, but it's gotta be better than the true nonstick, right? This is, let me just show you, Mikasa Indian Feast Speckled Biscuit. It is vintage. It's kind of cool. It's not my thing, but I did want to give it a mention and kind of show you the values right up here in the corner. I just found two sets of these Pampered Chef bamboo serving tongs, and believe it or not, they sell for $20. So we're gonna pay the $5 because the bonus here is that I can do a multi-quantity listing because there's two. So this is the equivalent of like a $40 listing uh, for 10 bucks. So whoop, we'll do that for sure. I'm really kind of enamored by these little oak stools. Ah, they're $10 each. I mean, they are, they are vintage. Gosh, I just don't know the market on furniture. I've been out of the furniture market for a while, but I tell you, if uh, I had the time to kind of dig in and figure out what these were worth, I probably would pick them up because they're super cute, very sturdy, nice vintage look, but I'm gonna pass them for somebody else. We have got quite the cart full, and a lot of it is personal stuff, too. I did find quite a few things, like one of these little frog togs chili pad. Um, Rachel uses these for horseback riding. After that Pampered Chef, like, I just grabbed a whole bunch of Pampered Chef stuff. I might just put it in a lot together. We got some of these K & Company Smash little journals that, oh, you know what? I'm just noticing that one. That one's got some damage. I'm gonna put that one back, but I got two others that are not damaged. I got this really cool Masterson. Hold on, stand by. It's a Stay Wet Premier Palette um, for painting palette, and it is $15. But I looked it up, they sell for 30 to 40. Um, so now I just saved money getting that for her. So we got some paper. Oh, here, here's the other one. See, these ones actually have the pen too. So there's good. I got her some color books. We did good. So personal stuff, stuff to sell. Oh, and I found this in the art. Check out this. It is $4.99. For the yard of chickens, it's a reproduction print. But how cute is that? I'd love to find the original of that, wouldn't you? Well, once again, we have the blue cart treatment. Not quite as full as I normally fill it up, but uh, enough we needed to put it in a cart to get it to the car.
loading up the car here because I have to boogie home. They were really, really slow on the checkout. So we are gonna boogie home and go do the live sale. We have a lady that has a very naughty dog. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's not good. I do love when they have newspaper to wrap everything because I always forget to bring some. I didn't get as many breakables as I normally do this time, but I got a few. All right. We are loaded up. Got to get home. And uh, I'm really excited. I'm back to listing on eBay again. I know a lot of people have been going, Danny, where's your listings? Yeah, when I moved, I just didn't get back into the routine and you know I do the live sales every week so I've been selling lots of stuff just not on eBay and through emails just you viewers who see something you want which you know is a thing you can do that right don't wait for me to put it on eBay because then I've got fees and I can't discount as much I can discount it much more not paying the fees after I list it I have to take that into consideration on the price that I accept so you saw the recap, you see about what I would get for it if I sell, I give a range, what I would sell it for if I put it on eBay, so make me an offer, make me an offer. Uh, just do that by sending me an email. So with that, I'm gonna stop rambling, I'm gonna get my butt in the car, and I'm gonna get home. I'm out of breath, I gotta return the blue cart first. So with that, go be profitable, and make it fun, and we'll see you on the next one.